<laughs> Kevin. Kevin. Part two. <laughs> Kevin. I want to give you my headphones. Take these. Oh, no. Man. Take these. No, no. These are Beats headphones. I don't want headphones. Kevin, take want. these. You have to take these. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Dude. Blocking, blocking, blocking the law of attraction. Why does nobody talk about this? I, I can't have think of any. I don't think I've seen it anywhere, man. I don't think I've seen it. I think I may have heard it one or two times. Sure. People talk all the time about the law of attraction. What you think about comes about. That is real. That is real. What you think about comes about. The science part of that is. What you think about creates a vibration within your, or creates a reaction within your subconscious mind, actually a physiological response, which changes your vibrational field, which starts to attract or detract what you want to you. But another reason why, why you're not seeing the amount of money you want, why you're not seeing the relationship you want, why you're not seeing things happen in your life. You got the vision board, you're reading all the books we suggest, uh, you got all the things going on, you're, you're positive every single morning, you're doing your affirmations, but then I walk up to Kev, who's been doing all this stuff, I'm like, hey Kev, you know what? You say you don't have headphones. Kev, here you go. Here's my headphones. What should you do at this point when I offer you my headphones? Thanks, man. Oh, you're welcome. Two things happened right there. Kev accepted abundance, also created a very high vibrational field within me, the giving vibration. So we just created a force field around us that is unstoppable. Can I have my headphones back? <laughs> Thank you, I will accept them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so, but, but what I'm saying is two powerful things happen is it feels really good to give because I wanted to give that to, I wouldn't have offered it to him, unless I'm a weirdo, I wouldn't have offered it to him if I didn't have the ability to give it to him. So when he rejected it the first time, it made me feel shitty. It's like, okay, whatever. And it also blocked the flow of abundance, it literally put up a dam in between us. So now I'm probably never gonna offer anything to Kev again in the first situation. And he also just told the universe, God, omnipresence, whatever you believe in, that I'm okay, I don't need anything. And it's gonna go, okay, so now I'm gonna go over here and say, hey, Julie, did you need these headphones? And Julie's like, oh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And then I got that, I just got a feeling when I said that. It's like, oh, thank you so much. And then Julie feels good, and guess what? Julie goes out and does something abundant. So, acceptance, man. Acceptance of what is, good or bad, just accepting it, just taking it. Because if something bad happens to you, if you accept it and say thank you for it, you're creating this vibrational field around you that is gonna make you so attractive to everything. Let's take a negative tone to it, okay? So I'm driving down the road and I'm freaking having a great day. I got my headphones on, doing my subconscious mind programming and then boom, I get rear-ended super hard. And I look up and as I look up, the person's on their phone texting. I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm late for work, got all this stuff going on, and I just take a deep breath, and I just accept it. I'm like, okay, let me go see if they're okay. Let me see if they're all right. So I get out of the car, I look back, everybody gets out, they have a kid in the car seat, everybody's okay, and I just accept that that happened in that moment because the acceptance comes from knowing that that person's action was for a reason. And maybe that small little accident where everybody's okay was stopping me from a head-on collision that was about to happen. The universe was like, oh, hit the back of JV, hit him, blah, 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 hit him, hit him. The timeline was affecting me so that I could be protected. And I accept that that's what is, and by accepting if that's what is, it keeps the flow of abundance going. You get cheated on. Oh God, oh, it's horrible, horrible, horrible. And you just accept that that's what is. That the universe, God, omnipresence, whatever. The reason why I say different things because we're, you know, I, I believe in my thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to get people to believe in a belief system. If you believe something, I believe you because of the other videos we talked about, your reality, right? You're creating your own reality. But you're going, oh my gosh, thank you so much because that person's not supposed to be in my life. And you were giving me a sign that that's not the right person that I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with. And there was a lot of triggers and patterns that were coming up that were gonna detract me from who I'm supposed to be. I'm not 
uh, uh, advocate for divorce. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that's something that happened in your timeline and you can accept it. And maybe you end up staying with the person, but you accept that, that you now know that about that person. So acceptance, my God, it could be as simple as, hey, I'm gonna buy you some snacks. Did you want some snacks? Oh yeah, 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 let me give you some money. Let me give you some money. Let me give you some money. Let me. Give... I'm asking you if you would like me to buy you some snacks. It's on me. No, I got you, I got you. It's like, you're literally blocking abundance. It sounds so simple, so simple. And it's hard to accept, and why is it? Because of our ego. Ego, 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 ego. So I'll stop right there. Kev, what are your thoughts on accepting? Oh, and that's funny that he ended right there because um, here's here's a way I haven't thought about it um, that I just literally came, it came into my head. I was like, oh, that's what that means. Guess what that means? Guess what that means? And it's going to seem crazy. If you don't accept, you are not humble. Hmm. That and we all say, you know, be humble, you know, and, and especially the ones that are very powerful. It's like, yeah. you know, be humble, man, be humble. So, so let's let's throw a crazy, let's throw a wild scenario out there. Let's say, you know, there's a poor person, there's this rich person, right? Um, the poor person is so grateful that they're so that they get to be around this person, blah blah blah. Um, they offer to take the rich person out to lunch. Whoo! What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Do you say, "Oh no, no, no! You're you're so poor." Dang, that reminds me of a of a story actually. Um, yeah, no, nah, man, you're you're. I got you. I got you. Like it's okay. Now you would think like, well, hey, no, that's a noble thing because you know they know they have all this money and blah blah blah. <laughs> or you could look at it the other way. You could be like, oh man, that's terrible. Like, why didn't yeah. they let them help them out? Because um, you know they really wanted to help. Who man, that it, it's if you look at it like that out of that type of a lens it's really interesting because what the person that that's well off may not be thinking along those lines they may actually be like no man i just i know i have an abundant amount so let me you know let me not put that on your plate yeah. but like he said if that person really wanted to be like hey man i really want to give this to you i really yeah. i bought you this you know what i mean I, I went to the store and bought you this i know it's not too much because i don't have a lot of money but i want you to, I, I want you to have it or or something along those lines that that's where it's more than just surface level thinking of I, I didn't have to accept it because you know because I can get it myself yeah it's more of like where's this coming from how should I perceive this situation based off of what this person's doing you know is that person um, is the poor person giving it out of trying to compete trying to show they can compete probably not in most cases no it's probably not um, are they doing it out of, you know, out of their just genuine love for that person? If, if they are, then accepting that is just a totally different situation. It's a totally different situation. So if you do, if you block that and you're like, no, nah, cause I got it, man, it's cool. Um, you could start to spiral downward just simply because even though they may not have had an abundance and, and they weren't going to give you this grandiose thing, um, that small thing, what we've learned, small things can turn into really, really, really massive great yes, things. Yes. So you got to be careful with just learning how to accept the help because um, cause in most cases, let's be honest, man. In most cases when we do say, no, it's okay. I got it. We, we, we really could use it. Yeah, it was yeah. not going to hurt us. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we, we could really just be like, okay, cool. Like let it happen. You know, like, like bring it, bring it on, man. Yeah, sure. You know, no problem. Because that is going to, you're going to, the main thing is you're going to make that person feel like they've helped. Yeah. And that creates a vibration that ripples outward into the, 
the world, man. And those, those that that person after that, uh, they feel like they they've done a valuable thing or that they've done something of service for somebody, and they feel good about themselves. That feeling carries into other situations and timelines and uh, all of that. It's just everything. So instead of saying, ah, oh, it's okay, I got that, and then they're like, oh, what the you know, they can easily yeah. be like, well, that's why I don't give people stuff because they never accept it <laughs> from me. You know what I mean? Or they could just be like, oh man, well. I mean, I know I'm not that rich, but they could at least accept, you know what I mean? There's so many different ways that that could go that it's best to just be like, thank you. Oh, even compliments, yeah. even compliments. Compliments was something that I struggled with yes, for a long, yes. long time. Um, to be like, oh no, man, it's, you know, this is, if somebody says, oh, you look good, or this is that, and the, oh, I like this, I appreciate it. It's just, hey, thank thanks, you. man. Thanks, you know, I, thanks man. You know, sometimes we put effort into what we put on or what, how we present ourselves or whatever the case may be. So if you just say thank you, you could be comfortable in that decision that you yeah. made. You know you weren't trying to do or look or be blah, blah, blah. It was just something that made you feel good. Yeah. So when somebody acknowledges that and you accept that feeling, you're becoming more of yourself. And you're just like, thanks, man. That's yes. cool. That's great. I, 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 I'm glad you appreciate that. Like, that's awesome. Whew. Yeah, like a lot of people will be like, oh, y'all, yo, the, oh, you look great. You look skinny. And, oh, I feel fat. Like, you're literally blocking the abundance. The yeah. person yeah. took their time to give you a compliment. It makes them feel good that you accepted it. Because it feels icky when you don't accept it. It's like you're, it's the opposite. You're actually thinking that you're doing justice because you're not accepted, but you're actually blocking abundance. So you're literally detracting, putting up this force field and blocking abundance from you. It's that simple. So it's like we need to really dive deep into understanding what are we blocking from ourselves. And there's a lot of factors that go into manifestation, a lot of factors. That's why very few people can do it. It's not just about the vision board. It's not just about the goal setting. It's not just about the affirmations, not just about the vibrational energy uh, programming that we do throughout the day through music and sound and stuff like that. There is physicality things happening between humans that are symbiotic that need to happen, yeah. that need to happen. We give, we innately like to give and it feels really good to give. And so practice giving, practice giving and accepting. Start with a compliment. You know, it's like, if you look good for the day, be like, oh, thank you, that means a lot to me. Because it does feel good. They're, the person, I mean, unless someone's just ingenuine, but still, even if they're ingenuine, it's still a nice compliment, right? And so, yeah, I like that part where it says it's coming from, where's the, lack of accepting coming from you're not humble man so yeah just accept guys start to accept everything man yeah accept everything you're going to start to create a ripple so we're going to keep going deeper into manifestation and really helping people understand because you know the secret does work think and grow rich does work secrets of millionaire mind, millionaire mind does work but if it works so well um and it was so clear, then why, like some people, a lot of people say, I mean, I'll take that. Why doesn't everybody be a trillionaire? Why is everybody a millionaire? Because it, it, I think it might be Jim Rohn that says this, I, I, but they say you take all the amount of money in the world and you spread it across every single human being, get everybody a million dollars, all the money's gonna end up right in the same person's hands. Those same richest people because they have subconscious mind programming that is, is, um, is abundant, is understanding of the law of attraction. If you haven't changed your subconscious mind programming, you can win a million dollars and you will lose every single dime of it. So you shouldn't even try to build wealth until you build the subconscious mind programming at a strong level and understanding that money is just energy. It's not a commodity that's like, oh, I have it, and you hold on to it. It's like, you have it, let it flow, let it flow. Let it go, just like your life, your relationship. Let your relationship flow. Don't try to control it. Don't try to change it. Don't try to resist it. Don't try to change the other person. Let it flow. If they're having a bad day, let them have a goddamn bad day. It's not that big of a deal. Be there for them. Love on them. Change your vibration internally. You know, don't let them affect your mood. Be there for them. Don't be insensitive, but don't be like, but your whole mood because don't have you ever done that where you're driving home and you're like oh, I feel good I feel so great I had such a great day my boss was great to me my girlfriend told me I look good blah 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 and you walk in your husband's in a bad mood and you're like Fuck. and your whole mood changes you accept it and then a fight starts it's like or you can just be like hey Kev are you alright man is everything good I'm fine and then you just start doing things that make them happy maybe make love to them do something that would be like whoa totally out of character and you're giving that's a form of giving and if they accept wow you create this symbiotic environment 
and you stopped a whole timeline thing that could start in a fight and then you don't love me anymore and it's just we're all just messing with each other's vibrational alignment man but yeah learn to accept guys accept this as a compliment we love you we can do. you accept that and if you accept this then put i love you in the comments so if you accept this i love you tell us you love us we will accept it we will put i accept on every single comment okay guys love you love you